Christmas being so close, the ability to shop online well is hindered, which means more people are turning to local shops instead. Reporter Colby Sims joins us now with those impacts for business owners. It seems that most people do their shopping online these days, but with only four days until Christmas, many shoppers are inside stores looking for those last gifts to put under the tree. Owner of Loeb's, Robert Loeb, spoke with Twin States News about how he tries to get his customers to shop in person. Well, you use a lot of advertising, and we use a lot of different medias here, including social media. So um, that lets people know what we have, the products we have, what's on sale, events we're having in the store. All of those things are important to get people in your store. Robert mentions that they have plenty of merchandise in the store, and he doesn't expect them to have any shortages due to Christmas shopping. He also breaks down all of the brands they have in store available for purchase. Patagonia, the North Face, Peter Millar, uh, and we've got plenty of shirts, uh, jackets, vests have been very good this holiday season for guys especially. So I don't see us running out of anything. We've got, we've got plenty as well as a lot of stocking stuffers that are pretty neat things. Twin States also visited DC Guitar Studio and asked the guitar teacher Randy Dawkins what kind of deals they had available for the holidays. We got great discounts, 60% off of strings right now, 30% off of other accessories. All of our guitars are, are marked down anywhere from 10 to 20%. Randy also explains why coming into the store is so important when purchasing a guitar. If you're going to buy a guitar, you've got to come in and try it out. There's no way to find one that's, that's, that's going to fit you, that's going to be what you like, the sound that you want, unless you've played it. If you are in need of last minute holiday shopping, the stores downtown encourage you to take advantage of their holiday discounts. For more information, visit TwinStates.News. Colby Sims, Twin States News, Meridian.